Interpreting data from daily life context. Hey, Bubbly, what are you doing in the garden? Bunty, Mummy has prepared this table and given it to me. There are different flowers in the garden. I am counting the blossomed flowers to find out flowers that have blossomed. Why? Data. I mean to collect the data. Hey, but the data about all the blossomed flowers is already filled in this table. That's why you don't need to count the flowers one by one in the garden. Why? Because whatever details that are already filled in this table about the flowers, you just need to understand those data. How is that? Come on, let me teach you. Today, in this video, we will learn to interpret data from the table. Look, there are different flowers in this garden. How many flowers have blossomed? That data has been collected and filled in the table. That's why it has been written on the top of the table the number of blossomed flowers in the garden. There are two columns in the table. In the first column, the blossom flowers in the garden are written. Come on, read those. The names of the flowers are marigold flower, rose flower and champa flower. From this data, we can know that three types of flowers have blossomed in the garden. Yes, first is marigold flower, second rose flower and third is champa flower. Hmm, come on, now read the second column. What is the number of flowers? The number of marigold flowers is 6. The number of rose flowers is 4. And the number of champa flowers is 9. Yes, the data collected about the number of blossom flowers in the garden has been shown in this table. Yes. This is very interesting. And now, I will not have to count the flowers one by one. After understanding the table, I have understood which and how many flowers have blossomed in the garden. What have you understood? I understood that there are three kinds of flowers, marigold, rose and champa that have blossomed in the garden. And there are six marigold flowers, four rose flowers and nine champa flowers that have blossomed in the garden. Thank you, Bunty. You have really explained the data in the table very well. Yes, yes. Okay. Now show me the second table which Mummy has given to you. Here it is. Hey. There are only pictures of fruits in this table. The number of fruits are not written. So what will you do now? I will go to the kitchen now and count the number of fruits and come back. Hey, stop. You do not have to go anywhere. Why? Come on. All the data has been shown in this table. How is that? Look. Which pictures are there in the column of fruits in the table? There are pictures of apple, pineapple, pomegranate and orange. Now have you understood that the data given is about which fruits? Yes, but how will I know the number of fruits without counting them? It is easy. How many pictures of apples are given in this table? There are five pictures of apples. Yes, so we have to write the number of apples, five, 
in the column of number of fruits. Similarly, there is one picture of pineapple. So we have to write the number of pineapples one in the column of number of fruits. There are three pictures of pomegranate. So we have to write the number of pomegranates three in the column of number of fruits. There are four pictures of oranges. So we have to write the number of oranges four in the column of number of fruits. Absolutely right, Bubbly. Now you will be able to interpret the data given in the table, won't you? Yes. It is very easy to interpret the data given in the table. Thank you, Bunty. Friends, in this video, you learned to interpret data from the table. In the next video. You will learn to interpret data from the table by using some examples. Children, in this video, we will learn how to interpret data from the table using. Interesting examples. I know how to fill the table. Now I will try to interpret data from the table. The data about utensils we have is given in this table. Hmm. The data about Names of the utensils is given in the first column, and the data about the number of utensils is given in the second column of the table. Names of utensils, bowl, dish, glass, and spoon are written here. So the data about four kinds of utensils is given. Here the number of bowls is six. The number of dishes are five, the number of glasses are six, and the number of spoons are nine. Hmm. I have interpreted the data about the number of utensils from this table. Now let's see the second example. Come on. Now I will fill this table by counting how many and Which color plastic flowers are there in this flower vase? Pink flowers. One, two. Hey, Bubbly, you don't need to count these flowers. Look, I have filled the data about the flowers which are in the flower vase. Thank you, Bunty. I will interpret the data from this table. Okay. So tell me, how many colored flowers are there in the flower vase? The table has data about flowers of four colors. Which colored flowers are there in the flower vase? There are yellow, pink, saffron, and red colored flowers in the flower vase. Which color flower is only one in the flower vase? Hmm, yellow. And red colored flowers are one each. How many pink colored flowers are there? There are two pink colored flowers. Well done, Bubbly. Thank you. So, children, in this video, we learned how to interpret data from the table using interesting examples. In the next video. We will learn some interesting facts related to interpreting data from the table. Friends, today in this video, we will learn some interesting facts related to interpreting data. From the table. 
Yes, Bubbly. Tell me, what do you want to ask? Look, I have prepared this table. What type of table? I have filled this table by counting the number of letters in my friends' names. Oh, Bubbly, you know very well how to collect data and fill it in the table and also how to interpret data from the table. Then how come you made a mistake in filling this table? Mistake in filling the table? Yes, look, you have to write the number of letters of the friends' names in this table. Yes, that's what I have done. Yes, but when you are counting the number of letters in any name, then you have to count all the letters even if they are repeated. And how is that? Look, Bubbly. Here the first name is Ria, which is made from four letters. And you have written the number four only. Yes, and the second name is Nirav, which is made from five letters. Bubbly, your table is okay till here. Now the third name is Munmun. There are not three, but six letters in it. How is that? Yes, you counted M U and N in Munmun, -mun, so you wrote three letters, but these three letters come two times, so that is a total of six letters. Oh, yes, I have to count all the letters that come in the name of Munmun, -mun, no matter how many times they come, so here the number of letters will be six. Now tell me how many letters are there in the name Bulbul? There are total of six letters, not three. Well done, Bubbly. Thank you. So friends, today in this video, we learned some interesting facts related to interpreting data from the table. Friends, you learned many facts related to mathematics from these videos. I hope you had a lot of fun.